Hello there, my name is Ismas and this is part four of our training series, our Blender 2.8 training series, making a sewer tunnel uh, in Blender. Uh, so let me open back uh, my original project so that we can see what we are doing. Okay. So let's create uh, this uh, module with a manhole so that if we want to have manholes on different different areas we can add them uh, quite easily so I will select this portion here shift D to duplicate it and I'll move it on the x-axis like this I don't want uh, any of these modifiers for now Now for the manhole, we're just going to use boolean. So just add a circle. You can choose any resolution you want or any polygons you want, but I'm just going to use this. Make sure it's filled and then extrude it in the Y direction. Shift S, cursor to select it, and then Shift S, selection to cursor, so that we snap uh, this to, to the main axis, uh, to the center of this mesh. And then we can add the boolean. Select uh, this, we can hide it now. Uh, and then apply the boolean. Make sure the operation is set to difference. And uh, we have our manhole. Now we are running into this issue here. So just select this portion, and then delete vertices to delete that part. That part. Now, then we can select uh, this, uh, this edge loop here. Yes, circle select this. We we do have a, a few polygons that are too are too close to each other, so I can right click and then remove doubles and increase uh, the mic distance here, so that I get rid of those uh, vertices. Now you just need to extrude this and then uh, flatten it at the top here, and uh, then extrude until you get something like that. So to get rid of this artifact here, you can uh, make sure that you turn on auto smooth here and uh, it should remove uh, that. So we have our module ready and uh, if you want to use it anywhere, uh, so you can just move it move it to the beginning of here uh, because it's the same position, it has its position at the same position as this object. So I can just select this, shift S cursor to select it and then select this shift s selection to cursor that will snap it uh, to that position and now i can again reapply bring it bring back uh, the curve modifier and uh, since i only have one curve i can bring it back there and now i can move this until it intersects uh, like that and I can also pull this back a bit like that so say I wanted a ma another manhole at, a, at this distance what I would do is just reduce uh, the array count to something like two and then for this here uh, I would then add another array in the y direction uh, make sure it's above the curve and uh, so in the y direction and uh, let's let this be three so that is at this position and now at every when we have two of these we're going to have the next one would be uh the one with the manhole it's not how i did it in this story for this i just i was trying to be very i was i was trying to do it very fast i just duplicated this and i wasn't planning on carving it here. I just did that at the last moment when I saw that uh, uh, the camera was seeing the the other end. Uh, so, but uh, if you're planning ahead, you can do it like this and, uh, and now you will have uh, a manhole for every two of these. And uh, then for this, uh, what you can do, you can again copy this array. Uh, make sure it's, bil it's after the first one and uh, extend are the distance like this so we have to array two arrays for this uh, so the first one let me bring back the curve uh, the first one 
gives you a duplicate of this so that we have two and now the second one just uses this as the original mesh and then duplicates that as the new array so you can see now we can extend this to as far as we want to go and uh, yeah so i'll continue in the next tutorial we'll continue in the next tutorial uh with working on uh, what 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 on working on uh, yeah this concrete piece uh, that you see uh, because I wanted to have these exposed walls bricks and then uh, some kind of concrete concrete piece uh, that is maybe that didn't fall off uh, so and uh, so you see that I have a few of them uh, around different areas they are the same copy uh, but uh, they have their cursor in the middle of the tunnel so if I wanted to have them in different areas I'll just rotate them around uh, the 3d cursor which is the center of the of the tunnel so I can put them in different areas and uh, if I want I can move them in any direction I want like that so I put this back to its position and that's what we are going to do in the next tutorial